Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to create a universal birthday card. That means it could work for absolutely anyone in your life. So grab your paints and let's get started. So I've got my uh, card ready, cut and, and folded. This time we're doing a tent fold card, so the, that means the fold is at the top and it's a landscape orientated card. Um, yeah, so I was asked by one of my patrons actually about the possibility of doing something that's a little more gender neutral. I do a lot of things with flowers, a lot of pink, whatever, and you know, anyone can like anything, but also some people just aren't so into flowers and things. So it's nice to do a card that you know will suit anyone uh, at any time. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to write out happy birthday Sam on this uh, so it's a personalized card and what I'm going to do is we're going to mark it out in balloons so H-A-P-P-Y P being the middle letter so I'm going to find the basic center there and I am going to write out in a very rough curve happy and then birthday and Sam and then we're going to turn this into a series of lovely balloons. Now I'm sure the moment I said balloons there's going to be some of you saying yeah but some people hate balloons. Okay well you know we can't um, sort of cover all phobias and everything in every video but um, for now balloons are a fun celebratory kind of party item so I kind of like them. So today's tutorial is going to be balloons. So I'm just sort of mixing up a range of colours range of cheerful colours. I mean you'd you'd be able to pick whatever colour scheme you wanted for this. Um, there should be no colour that's off limits really but what I'm trying to show you today is that this card could be adapted for anyone's sort of style or tastes. We even get, there we are, nice blues going to have a real rainbow of colours so they're all just quickly swished and mixed ready in the palette and my water is now a bit murky so I'm going to change that over get myself a nice fresh jar of water and I'm going to paint some balloons so I've got my size 2 brush it feels like a really good a good one to use and what I'm going to do is around each letter I'm going to begin by painting a, a sort of wet loop shape and then clean my brush off and I'm going to colour it in but I'm going to leave a tiny bit of unpainted space just for a little bit of shine but I'm also going to add just a little dot at the bottom in slightly more concentrated colour and that's a really nice sort of balloon tutorial. Okay. I'm just going to now go around with different colors and just don't forget to clean off your brush. Colors like cadmium yellow are quite strong anyway. So adding the bit at the bottom might not need much more concentrated colour. Just make sure you clean your brush off nicely every time. What I also like the idea of is maybe having balloons slightly different sizes, different heights. You could always chuck in a shape, a different shape balloon. I'm going fairly classic with mine here. You see it's just adding that little bit of concentrated colour at the bottom. Just well, it just makes it a bit cooler, doesn't it? So don't forget, clean off the brush, fill it in, leave a little bit of unpainted space. And a little bit of more concentrated colour at the bottom. And there you go, a lovely bunch of balloons. Now, I am quite simply going to take a fine line pen and start to um, draw in the lettering. Um, it's completely up to you whether you fancy doing something a little bit sort of snazzy with your wording or if you just want to 
be really, really simple and straightforward with it. Just make sure that your paintings have dried if you're not using a, a sort of colour fast ink pen. So I've just picked this up from my desk. So yeah, I'm just um, adding sort of a few extra lines. I thought I'd put in a, an exclamation mark as well. So yeah, just adding in a few extra lines to the pencil that I've done already, just to make a really simple sort of scribbly serif font. And the beauty of this is if you've sort of written in a letter that you're not, mm, I think I actually want it a bit more angled like that, that's absolutely fine because we've painted nice and lightly uh, the balloon colour so it means that all pencil will be very easily rubbed out. Now I'm going to look for the central point, the bottom here, and I'm now going to draw in my balloon strings. So I'm going to try and do this without smudging things. So drawing a line to the furthest one over here, I like to do a little string like that. So just using a ruler is probably the easiest thing. Um, obviously we're going to have our top row of balloons in the back row. So when I draw this line, I'm looking for where the balloons in front cover it. Whoops, and then this row. You get the idea. And there you have one seriously adaptable card, whether you want to change the colour scheme of the balloons, whether it's for a birthday or a different occasion, you can just change the wording to what you want. I find the um, landscape version orientation really good for birthdays in particular, because birthday is quite a long word, but you could always turn it upside up that way, put in more balloons that way. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on. And of course, don't forget to tag us on social media at The Winton Paper Coat on Instagram if you're sharing your artwork. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell and you'll never miss us. Okay, until next time. Bye.